Okay, uh, I'm going to show you how to set up a TFTP server. Uh, as you can see, this is for TFTP D64, which is a TFTP server. And it's one of my favorites and it works well. This is the installer. I can copy and paste the link I used to download this. We obviously want to go through here and install it. Alright, I'll drag this over. Alright, so basically, this is you can be an FTP server, obviously a client. You can even do DHCP server. Um, this is going to come in handy, which is your log viewer, so that anytime a file does not work, you will see why. Alright, so first thing we want to do, I always do this just to make sure. Go to server interfaces and always change your IP address, your interface to your network IP address that you're using. Obviously, I have it set up statically so it never changes. You obviously want to set up what folder you're using. I always, like well, I guess in this case, I can change it to one that I have on my desktop. Uh, where to go? Use these. All right. uh, so it's these files right here that I'm reading. Uh, this is the folder it's in. All right. I'm gonna go pause this video. I'm gonna go set up my camp, my um, phone to go get this done. Hold on a second. Remember. On this last video, we talked about having to go to do the redial button instead of the speakerphone button. Alright, so on this option, you want to choose number one because it's TFTP. These are the settings I put in here last time. Um, nothing on my network has a 10.100 for IP address, so I used to that. The net mask obviously is going to be 255.255.255.0 because it's a slash 24, uh, which obviously puts the gateway to be dot one. And the TFTP server is obviously the same server that you saw the static IP address on my computer. As you can see over on the computer, it's sending the files it needs. To the computer it says peer 10.100 that is obviously my desk phone that I'm using for TFTPing the file transfer to the phone now that's complete it will disappear and then when it asks for the other one and if you click on log file you can see, oh, see, now it's sending the ROM file. And now you can see what the log is saying right here. As you can see, that completed that file, and now the phone is rebooting right now. So now there's no more files in that folder.
Now this has no more one talk. There you go. You now have a fully functional stock Yay Link desk phone.